Steven here with Precision Raceworks, and today we're installing our S58 port injection kit on this 21M4 competition. Before we do that though, let's go over what's inside the box. Our fuel rails are precision machined out of 6061 build aluminum and feature a two-tone anodized finish. Available in three beautiful color options, blue and black, billet and black, and a stealthy all black. Here we have the drill bit and alignment tool to precisely modify your manifold to accommodate injectors, as well as three screws designed to securely thread into the plastic for mounting the fuel rail. Having six years experience with similar plastic manifold modifications like our Mark 7 Volkswagen port injection, we've learned a thing or two. So our kit includes six injector clips which lock the injectors to the fuel rail, reducing the force on the screws by an average of 66% compared to not using injector clips. When it comes to injectors, however, the choices can be overwhelming. To make this easy, we provide a one-stop shopping experience offering some of the best injectors on the market. Already have a set of injectors? Simply choose the no injector option and any short body EB14 style injector will work. The kit wouldn't be complete without fuel lines. And since we are known for some of the best fuel lines and fittings in the industry, of course they're included. Featuring our famous billet quick connect fittings and smooth bore PTFE lines, these install quickly and securely while ensuring maximum flow. Ultimately, this kit is ideal for those looking to add more power to any S58 vehicle, but don't plan on going for stupid power, which requires an aftermarket intake manifold. For our M4, we chose blue and black, matching our billet engine cap set. Now let's get it installed. First thing we need to do is remove the strut brace. For this, we will use a 15 millimeter socket. With the strut brace unbolted, remove the strut brace and set it to the side. To remove the engine cover, pull up firmly on all four corners and set the cover aside. Now remove the harnesses here, here, and here and disconnect the pressure sensor. For the first two harnesses, press the clips away from the harness and lift up. For the third harness, simply pull up. Unlock the pressure sensor and press down on the gray tab while pulling to remove the harness. Using an E6 socket, remove the two screws securing the expansion tank for the intercooler. Press on the metal tabs and pull up, releasing the evap hose. And pull firmly to remove the harness. Using your E6 socket, remove the two screws, securing the bracket and set aside. Unbolt the evap hose from the manifold using a 10 millimeter socket and pull up to remove. While firmly holding the locking tabs in, pull and separate the evap hose from the pressure sensor. To make the factory S58 manifold capable of port injection, you simply drill out these spots in the manifold. While we have seen people do this successfully without removing the manifold at all, drilling into plastic obviously creates some debris, and we don't like the idea of anything but air and fuel entering our engine. The way we're gonna protect the motor is actually pretty simple. A single sheet of paper. However, it's never wrong to go above and beyond, and for that, you'll wanna follow the BMW procedures to fully remove the manifold from the car before drilling. Use a 10 millimeter socket and unscrew the seven bolts securing the manifold to the cylinder head. Using any standard piece of paper, pull back and hold the manifold while sliding the paper in between, ensuring the ports of the head are covered. Insert the drill alignment tool into cylinder one.
Using the provided drill bit at a high RPM, push slowly while drilling into the manifold. Pull back on the manifold and blow out any plastic debris. Repeat this process for the remaining five cylinders. For clearance to drill cylinder five, you will need to remove the engine cover standoff using a T40. Pull back on the manifold and blow out the last three cylinders. With the injector ports drilled, remove the paper and tighten the manifold to the head using a 10 millimeter socket. Now that all the holes are drilled in the manifold, it's time to set up the fuel rail. To do so, we're gonna first install the injector clips, then we're gonna use a little bit of super lube to make installation of the injectors easier. Now this kit does come with a set of fuel lines that are intended to be used when connecting to your main feed line. If however you are using our AFS system, you will not be using these. For instructions on the AFS, check out this video. Now we can go ahead and pre-assemble this setup and get it on the car. With the fuel rail pre-assembled, insert the injectors into the ports of the manifold and push the fuel rail into place. Using the provided screws and a T30, secure the fuel rail to the manifold. With the fuel rail installed, reattach the expansion tank, evap line, and harnesses to the manifold. Disconnect the negative battery terminal using a 10 millimeter socket to prevent the fuel pump from possibly turning on. Separate the fuel line from the hard line here and behind the intake manifold to remove it from the car. To remove this type of connector, remove the gray locking clip, then push the connector further onto the hard line and hold in place while pulling back on the release. Keeping the release pulled back, separate the fuel lines. Use a rag to collect any fuel that comes out from the lines. 
For customers with our ethanol 360 fittings on their car, go ahead and swap them over to the new fuel line. Install the short side of the fuel line to the hard line behind the manifold and the long side to the hard line next to the DME. Screw the AN6 ORB fitting into the fuel rail and tighten using a 3 quarter inch wrench. Tighten the other end of this line at the T-fitting. Reconnect the battery and pressurize the system to inspect for any fuel leaks. Reinstall the DME cover and engine cover standoff. Now that the port injection rail and fuel line are fully installed, all that's left to do is wire an injector controller. For that, we chose the Motive Reflex Plus, along with our brand new plug and play install harness for the S58. For that video, click here. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more.